just feel like we got to learn from all these other cultures and you know what I'm saying like you know I feel like a well-traveled person that's that's like the real wealth that's right. yeah. understanding yeah. your world this is your world and you really you know technically only get one shot at it so they say so it's like if you look at a map of everywhere that you put your feet down after you die you see the territory whether it be big or small that you have inhabited it's like what do you think about how you did on this earth right. and what you really know Fuck what you read in a book. Fuck what you, you know, the pyramids. How you know the pyramid be this big in the book? You know what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know? So it's like, you know, we, you know, people, other people in this world, in this country, you know, they know stuff and we know stuff. We can trade, you know. I went to an Indian wedding recently. That shit was insane. That shit, first of all, you think you know how to party. Them motherfuckers was partying before they was even done with the vows. <laughs> And then, you know, they worked so hard, you know, the fucking groom got a call in the middle of his body. He was like, welcome to T-Mobile. Like, oh, shit, this nigga. He took a call? He said, hold on a second. Did you type turn it off, turn it back on, turn it back on? Like, this nigga is. He is diligent about that shit. He not bullshitting. The fucking day off. Then, the fucking reception was crazy. The food was spicy. The napkins were spicy in that bitch. These motherfucking napkins hurt, sir. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> the music, shit. The music was crazy. I was trying to um, Shazam some of them songs. <laughs> My phone did not know them bitches. I don't know if they was freestyles or what, but I was like, this is this shit not on Apple? What the fuck? I thought this shit was a hit. I had to go to YouTube and type the lyrics in to find the song. I said, it was like, funky donkey monkey donkey honky monkey night. <laughs> that motherfucker, nah. When I said, I said, nah. You be like, oh, nigga. <laughs> Let me slow my motherfucking car down before I speak, nah, going on the freeway. I fuck around, man. All right, let me stop capping. I had me a little white girlfriend in college. I did, man, for a short little time, man. That shit was fun. But it was fun for a different reason. See, white people don't, don't quite understand that it's different levels of black people. Like, you think we all just hood and know how to dance and know how to do the a bay bay shit and all of that? You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, my name is Christopher. That's not even a hood name. I went to college, you know what I'm saying? I had a trust fund, you know, I was pretty straight. All right, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never really had to be ghetto. So I got this white girl, she didn't know shit about niggas. So I couldn't resist the urge to lie to her. I told her my name was Latrell. I just liked the way she said it. Oh my God, Latrell. Latrell, you're fucking crazy, Latrell. Oh my God, another 50 bucks, Latrell? <laughs> Latrell, I just bought you an eighth yesterday, Latrell. <laughs> you need an eighth every day, Latrell. <laughs> Shut up, bitch, by the eighth. Sit back. You're right, Latrell, you're crazy. <laughs> One day we was riding in the car and Snoop Dogg came on the radio. She was like, oh my God, I kind of like this. Who's this? I was like, bitch, me. <laughs> Are you fucking serious, Latrell? <laughs> You're really fucking good, Latrell. <laughs> Mr. Deal Double G. But I'm gonna tell you, when you live in a lie, that shit catch up to you, don't it? You can't live a lie for long because the lie gets so good, you fuck around and stay there too long. A second too long in a lie, fuck your whole life up. You gotta get out that lie, ooh, get out that lie, hot potato, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> fuck around and I forgot who the fuck I was and took that bitch home to my family for Thanksgiving. <laughs> my real friend, they didn't even know who the trail was. She was so confused. She was like, so wait a minute, what's going on here? You guys aren't gonna, 
You know what, I have to say this. None of you support his rap career, and it's really weird. He has a song called Gin and Juice that I guarantee you is gonna be a hit. Sing it, babe. I guarantee you it's gonna be a hit. My whole family looking at me like, yeah, sing it, babe. Sing Gin and Juice, Latrell. <laughs> <laughs>